So we're here at ASH Annual Meeting 2018, and I'm here to speak about uh, the oral presentation today on the combination of allocertive with induction chemotherapy for higher risk AML. So the conventional frontline approach for acute myeloid leukemia for decades has been upfront induction chemotherapy for patients who have been sufficiently robust and healthy to tolerate such chemotherapy. Unfortunately, the outcomes for patients with induction chemotherapy has remained suboptimal and particularly so for patients who have higher risk disease. Alicertib is an Aurora A kinase inhibitor and as monotherapy has a modest response rate in patients with advanced AML. We initially did a phase one study combining alicertib with upfront induction chemotherapy to assess its tolerability and safety and get an early appreciation for its potential for efficacy. And at least in that study, looking at all upfront AML patients, excluding some favorable risk categories, there was a very high rate of remission of above 80%, and the combination was deemed to be quite tolerable. A high proportion of these patients had higher risk disease. So when we decided to, a, to design a phase two clinical trial of induction plus allicertive, we decided to focus our attention on that population of patients which historically has not done well with induction chemotherapy. And that would be the higher risk AML patients, which we defined as patients 65 years or older, or younger patients who had higher risk karyotypes, patients who had prior myeloid malignancies, or patients with therapy-related AML, these categories all being uh, quite high risk and likely to be refractory to upfront treatment or more refractory to upfront treatment. The trial uh, was designed as follows. Seven and three induction would be given over the first seven days as a standard with treatment, upfront treatment for AML. And starting on day eight, patients would get allicertib, the Aurora A kinase inhibitor, twice a day for a period of seven days at a dose of 30 milligrams twice daily. That's it for induction. And then following the course of induction, we would do a marrow biopsy to assess response. Following that, patients could either come off study treatment, go to bone marrow transplant for consolidation treatment, or continue on study to get cycles of consolidation chemotherapy and thereafter maintenance for 12 cycles. We found, based on the results, that the combination was indeed well tolerated even in this higher risk group. The response rate was approximately, or at least the composite remission rate was 64%, which was higher than would be expected at the historical rate for this high-risk population of around 45%. And if you looked at multiple subtypes of high-risk AML, the rates of composite remission were also quite high for this population, ranging anywhere between 59% to the low 70%. So that was quite impressive to us. The other important finding for this combination in this higher risk AML uh, population uh, was that we were able to clear uh, mutations uh, that were associated with myeloid malignancy at the time of remission, suggesting a deep remission. And those patients who had cleared their mutations at time of remission actually did better in terms of relapse-free survival, although the numbers are small, so statistical significance is going to be hard to come by, and we need to do larger studies. And that is something we are currently planning on doing, which is a larger study to assess the promise of the combination of allocertive plus induction chemotherapy in higher risk patients.